If you're like me, you love a good story. And the indie adventure game McCarthy Chronicles Episode 1 has one to offer you. Designed by Steve Poulton of TheThoughtRadar.com, this freeware mystery brings a lot to the table. It tells the story of Detective Rick McCarthy and his clash with the forces of darkness. Made with the adventure game studio engine, McCarthy brings back the old charm of 90s point-and-click adventures, but kicks the graphics up a notch with spectacular visual effects such as rain, puddle reflections, and film grain. Speaking of, the game is presented in mostly black and white, and when combined with the grain, it gives a film noir feel. The animations are smooth and the interface is intuitive, but one of the best features about McCarthy is that it is fully voiced, with some of the performances being a bit awkward, but overall it's excellent and really adds to the experience. But while the atmosphere is definitely unnerving, there aren't any real scares in the game. There are just not really any places where you feel endangered, and the game is free of jump scenes. Granted, the atmosphere does a good job at foreshadowing terror, but it seems it just might be setting the stage for the meat of the horror in episode 2. It's also really short, and low on puzzles, most of which are just too simple, because every inventory item has one, and only one use. Also, I don't know how Rick McCarthy became such a famous detective when he solves every single mystery by reading someone's diary that says, I am Bob Blossom, here are all my motivations, and this is what you should do next. Seriously. By the end of the game, I had acquired no less than five journals or sheets of paper that could have just as easily been replaced with giant signs saying, This way to the rest of the game. It would be nice if episode two featured a journal system so McCarthy could keep track of all of his paper scraps. I'm not sure yet, miss. The sound design, though, is one of the game's strong features. The music is really eerie, and the sound effects mesh completely with the action. There's all kinds of sounds for different types of doors, and there's different footstep sounds for when you walk in a puddle. One problem with the black and white film grain is that it's often difficult to see. More than once I found myself locked in a room because I couldn't see the exit hidden in the shadows. I also wish the game was uh, more lenient when it came to room margins so I wouldn't have to be trying to click a uh, four pixel wide space in order to move to the next screen. Probably one of the worst issues for me is the lack of proofreading. There are a lot of places where the dialogue doesn't match the subtitles, and the author seems to have a bit of a problem with homophones, such as it's and it's and there and there, and he really doesn't like putting periods after mister. But besides all my complaints, you should still download this game. It's really one of the best of its kind in terms of immersion and storytelling. And like a good developer, Steve is actually listening to the feedback while I'm making episode 2, so expect things to go uphill from here. Also, it's free, so you have nothing to lose. McCarthy Chronicle score on my top secret scale that I will never explain? Cantaloupe. <laughs>